Okay, this is my third attempt at trying to do this video. Um, first time I got... Uh, oh, this is actually my fourth attempt. First time I got interrupted. Second time I didn't get as much information as I wanted into it. Third time I got interrupted again, so hopefully this one goes right. Um, sorry it's been so long since my last video. I know it's been a couple months. At least since September, I think, was the last time I uploaded a video. Um, yeah. Some things have been happening. Yeah. Okay stuff, I guess. First time something happened was actually... Um, I tried to upload a video for my... Well, of my uh, Disney College Program phone interview. And it just won't upload. I don't know why. But I keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. It doesn't work. So there's that. I keep intending to make a video of myself doing my Humira injection so that you guys can see what my life is like every two weeks. But I keep getting interrupted with that one too. So there's that. Um. I was going to do the Disney College program, but an update on that, I can't do it. When my acceptance letter, well, email, came, I was having some not good side effects from the Humira, and I thought I might have to change medications or possibly even have surgery. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, and so I delayed making my decision until we knew what we were going to have to do with my medication, and unfortunately, by the time a decision was made regarding my medication, which I ended up staying on it, I think the problem was I kept getting the injection into a blood vessel, and you're not supposed to do that. Um, by the time a decision had been made, the offer had expired. I'm sorry if the camera keeps shaking, but I am sitting my laptop on my bed because my desk is kind of messy and I don't really feel like cleaning it off right now. So yeah. Um, anyway, so the door for my Disney College program of spring of 2017 is not going to happen. So there's that. I was accepted for food and beverage, quick service food and beverage, the same role I had last time. And I'm obviously, like I said, not going to do it. So, to keep my mind off of my depression, I guess you could say. Well, not really depression, but just being upset and just not happy about not being able to do the program. I have been reading a lot and not school reading either, so I'm kind of starting to get a little bit behind, which isn't too good considering this is my last semester. God willing, I graduate in December and my busyness will not be related to school. It'll be related to work. Hopefully I really enjoy my work. I'm enjoying my classes for what I'm going to school for, so hopefully I'll enjoy what I'm actually doing once I'm actually in the work field. Um, I don't know how many books I have on my bookshelf. I'm going to try and give you guys a little view of my bookshelf. Hang on. I gotta, like, take my laptop over here. So, this is my bookshelf. Yeah, that very bottom shelf is pretty much just school related. Um, textbooks, binders, there's a couple of photo albums. The second to bottom shelf, there's some more books. Uh, ICD-10 coding book from last year, my Bible, bunches of notebooks that I don't really use. They're just kind of sitting there waiting to be used. Middle shelf, I have movies, three books, and a Jake Portman pop figure from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Second shelf, 
I have a whole bunch of books. Like I have one whole row there in the back and then this partial row and a book even laying up on top of all that. And then the very top shelf. I'm sorry, I can't really see where this is looking. I have a whole roll of books, a partial roll of books, my Kindle stuff, Mickey, that my boyfriend got me, and a little Hermione. So, yeah. I'm sorry if that was kind of uh, shaky and you couldn't really see, but that was my best. That's it. I didn't have quite a few books. I need another case desperately. But unfortunately, my room's kind of small, so I can't really get another one in here. That's why I need to move out and get my own place, so I can have as many little cases and little shelves as I want. It's not really organized, it's just kind of, where can I find room to put this book now? Um, I really do like to read on my really sick days, that's what I do when I'm feeling down, I read. I've loved reading since I learned how. Basically, I was that kid that got in trouble for reading past your bedtime. So, yeah. So, I've decided to do book reviews from now on. Um, my first one, I already put it away. I gotta go get it again. Sorry. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm sorry I was awkwardly sitting here for a couple seconds not saying anything. I was trying to look at the uh, time on the bottom of the screen to make sure that it was recording. I'm using the web camera on my laptop and right underneath the video screen it has just this timer that keeps track of how long the video is. And I was trying to make sure that time was actually uh, moving. So, my first book review on here is Outlander. I loved this book, did not want to put it down, and in a way I'm still kind of living in that world. There's, I think, eight books out now, maybe nine by now, and they're great books. Um, they kind of just suck you in, although right now I am reading the third book, but it's just kind of like this leisurely go at your own pace one. So I'm also reading The Lunar Chronicles, and I'm on the second book in that series. So, yeah. Um, so this review is over, Outlander. There is a, um, a series on stars based off of the series. I've watched the first two seasons, which is all that there is right now, and I actually really enjoyed it. <coughs> Sorry about that. I live in an area where there is a ton of allergies, no matter what time of year it is. So if you find me coughing, sneezing, sniffling, whatever, that's why. And then add in the fact that I'm on something that suppresses my immune system, and I just seem to have upper respiratory sickness symptoms like all the time but anyway usually it's just like a dry scratchy throat every now and then itchy eyes sometimes sneezing but nothing too bothersome so anyway on with the book review so like I said I'm reviewing Outlander I started reading this I think the very first time when I was on my uh, first college program back in the fall of 2014. I had got it on my Kindle so that my mom could read it, but then I couldn't find time to let her borrow the Kindle because I was using it to read for school because my teachers were cool and allowed me to use an e-reader for my textbooks sometimes, which was really useful because textbooks on the Kindle at the time were a lot cheaper than the actual print versions. So, yeah. 
So I started reading it back in the fall of 2014, didn't get very far, of course. I was usually trying to read kind of late at night or when I wasn't completely awake because I would read on the bus on the way to work, which sometimes, you know, it worked out great. Um, but other times, not so much. Usually on the way home, it didn't work out too well because there were some pretty loud people on the bus who wanted to talk constantly, and even worse, they wanted to talk to me. Now, it's not that I'm not a social person, because I do like having conversations with people, it's just, if I'm reading, please leave me alone. I'm trying to read, I'm enjoying the story, so unless I, like, finished the book or just got into a really slow part of the book, just leave me be. Like, I would even try to fake people out by putting my earbuds in so that it would look like I couldn't hear them. But they wouldn't leave me alone. So anyway, sorry on that sidetrack. But anyway, yeah. First time I tried to read Outlander, fall of 2014, didn't work out. So I was going through my Kindle back in April or May. It was around the end of the semester last spring, and I thought, you know, I haven't really spent any time on this book. I'm going to read it because I have the first two books in that series on here. I think I'll try and start it again. Um, the first 200 pages or so, I think, probably are um, really uh, slow. I had to push myself through them, but I got through it, got to the good stuff, and couldn't put it down. Um, I will warn you that if you are younger than probably 17 or 18 and aren't really into mature type books, like adult type books, lots of romance scenes, don't read it. Do not read this book if you're not into that, because there is there are some sex scenes which I did enjoy those, which is very out of character for me. But anyway, we were married, so it was okay. This book actually has something for everyone. It is very difficult to define what genre it is. Oh, um, about the cover, I, I I just couldn't resist getting the TV series cover. You see, because of that guy right there. But, um, anyway. Yeah, his name's Jamie. He is a Scottish warrior in the 18th century. Um, hang on. This edition is, I think, 850 pages. So, yeah, long book. Yeah, 850 pages. Um, anyway, the main character is Claire. She is a World War II field nurse. Um, when the book starts out, it's 1945. She and her husband are on their second honeymoon in Scotland. Um, he's doing some family history research. <coughs> Sorry, I gotta get a drink. Okay, sorry about that, but my throat is kind of just dry and scratchy. It's fall allergy season, so I'm not a fan of allergy medicine. It always makes me sleepy, even the daytime non-drowsy stuff. But anyway, main character is Claire Randall. She and her husband are on their second honeymoon in Scotland. Um, they had been separated from each other for the duration of the war. Frank her husband was in the military and she went on to be an army nurse. So when the war was over, they decided to go to Scotland and kind of try and reconnect, rekindle their marriage. And sometime along the way, she gets, well, she ends up in 18th century Scotland in the year of 1743. Um, 
like I said, kind of uh, difficult to um, define what genre it is. There's romance, there's some really funny parts, so there's some comedy, um, fantasy. It's obviously an, advan an adventure going between the 1940s and the 1740s. 200 year difference there, so yeah. Um, I really enjoyed Claire. She is a very strong woman, headstrong for sure, and not afraid to speak her mind. Um, she ends up marrying Jamie. His full name, I think, is James Alexander Malcolm McKenzie Fraser. Long name. I think I got the order right. I know his first name is James, but his last name is Fraser. And Claire ends up marrying him in the 18th century. Um, to basically become a Scottish citizen. And if you read it, you will understand why. Um, but she ends up falling in love with Jamie, but not until after they're married. Um, trying to think. What have I missed? Well, I've talked about Claire, I might as well talk about James. Or Jamie. I really liked him, and not because that's my boyfriend's name. Which, yes, James is my boyfriend's name, and I do call him Jamie. But that's beside the point. Um, Jamie Fraser is a Scottish warrior. Um, he's kind of, well, basically what most women, I think, would want. Um, he can be very sweet and very kind and gentle. Um, but, um, also being raised in the 18th century, his ideals of how a husband should treat his wife are different from what we think. But, um, he eventually uh, comes to terms with how Claire thinks she should be treated in their marriage, and it somehow works. Um... Here's another character named Gayla Duncan. Um, she's not completely right in the head, for lack of a better word. I don't want to say crazy because, well, I'm not exactly sure that's the right word for it, but yeah, she's kind of an oddball. I did enjoy her, though. I did get, I did enjoy getting to know Gayla and all her twisted plotting. But yeah, um, then there's Jamie's uncle, um, Dougal, and I'm suddenly blanking on the other one's name. Colin. Jamie's uncles, Colin and Dougal. Colin is the laird of the Mackenzie clan at Castle Leoc, which is where Claire takes refuge when she first gets to the 18th century. And then Dougal is the warlord, I think is the uh, title he may have been given. Um, anyway, he leads their raids and goes out and collects taxes and rents and stuff like that for the clan because Colin actually cannot. He has some kind of um, degenerative bone disease where it, he cannot physically go out and ride a horse as often as he would need to in order to do the stuff that Doodle does. So um, there's that. So I think I've covered most of the characters but yes, definitely it is a good book. Read it if you are good on, um, if you enjoy the more adult kinds of books. The second one doesn't have as much of that. I will go ahead and let you in on that. The second one is 
very intriguing. I went right from reading the first one and right into Dragonfly and Ember, or Dragonfly and Amber, I mean. And yeah, like I spent a good month and a half, probably more like two, three months, um, getting through the first two and a half books. I'm a little more than halfway on the third one, but I'm taking kind of a little break. I've started the Lunar Chronicles. I read Ender's Game. Um, as you can see from my earlier little uh, tidbit on my bookshelves, I have a lot of books to get through. Most of what is on my bookshelf I have not read, if that tells you anything. I will probably die with the list of 20 to 30 books that I need to read. So yeah, my to-be-read list just keeps getting longer and longer every time I go to the bookstore and my boyfriend loves to take me to the bookstore. I don't know why. I think he knows it makes me happy just to go in there and browse and I tend to end up coming out with something. I told him if you doubt what to get me for my birthday or Christmas or Valentine's Day, gift card to the bookstore is always good. Um, maybe eventually I'll end up with a video camera so I can stop using the webcam on my laptop. I don't know. I could also really use some, um, video editing software, but I don't have the money for that. So, it's basically whatever I'm able to get on my laptop and not have to do any editing. So, this is why it took me four attempts to get through this video to the extent that I needed to. Um, I cannot cut out anything right now, so just whatever gets captured on my laptop is what ends up in the video. So if I keep getting interrupted, I will just keep trying to make the video until I end up getting what I want, or at least less of what I don't want. And so, yeah. Anyway, um, happy reading. I hope you enjoy Outlander. I know I did. I loved it. Read it. Enjoy it. I hope. And um, happy reading. Until next time. Bye.